Hey guys, this is Sam, and today iOS 11.4 Beta 4 was released to developers, and if you are a public beta tester by the time this video goes live on YouTube, the update is probably available for you as well. iOS 11.4 is a pretty solid update, basically just adding in a lot of features that Apple hasn't been able to get around to in the traditional or standard iOS 11 release cycle. We're seeing features like AirPlay 2 finally that have been delayed or just not present inside of iOS 11 for months. We're also seeing Classkit, a new framework for developers that allows them to integrate their educational focused applications with a new app called Schoolwork. And finally, we should also be getting messages in iCloud, which is another feature that was delayed pretty much since it was announced in June and may finally be making its way into iOS 11 with the public release of iOS 11.4. There's also the official product red wallpaper for iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus devices that is included inside of the settings app in iOS 11.4 on the iPhone 8 and on the iPhone 8 Plus. If you have any other device other than those two and you wanna get the wallpaper, check out the link down below in the description. You can go download the new wallpaper over on my website. So there are some pretty cool features coming inside of iOS 11.4. I looked in beta 3, didn't find anything new there, which was just six days ago. Looking in beta 4 today, it is the exact same story. When I ran a Geekbench test, I was really impressed. 4257 for the single core score today and 10,451 for the multi-core score, which is one of the highest scores that I've ever gotten. So based on what I'm seeing here, Apple appears to be continually refining the performance and max maximum CPU performance on iOS 11.4, specifically on beta 4 and on the iPhone 10. And battery life, I want to talk about that as well. It's been really good on iOS 11.4. I think it's generally getting better as the betas go on. But still for me, iOS 11.4 on my iPhone 10 largely feels like iOS 11.3 did. There's really no discernible improvements, making it a lot better or a lot worse. It's probably a little bit better than before, but it's a very marginal change. Anyway, let me know what you think about iOS 11.4 by leaving a comment down below. Are you excited or are you incredibly hyped for iOS 12 beta 1, which should be coming out now in just under a month? Stay tuned for coverage on that. If you enjoyed watching, it does help me out if you drop a like and of course hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future and to be notified when iOS 11.4 is available for everyone. Merch is available at shop.ifdatos.com if you're interested in getting a shirt there and you'd like to help support the channel. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I will talk to you in my next video.